At the beginning of the movie, we meet Laurel, who is a designer. Talking to Gina, the heroine complains that she can't find a job, which makes her finances tight. Having collected full plates of food, the girls sit down at a free table. Laurel says that she can't pay the rent. When her friend suggests returning to her parents, the heroine refuses, since she has already promised herself not to use them in case of need. Laurel declares that she already has a great plan C, to get the first job she can find. The heroine reveals that she even applied for a part-time job at this sports bar. Gina laughs as she knows Laurel hates athletes and everything to do with them. The heroine confirms this, but says that she hates being hungry even more. The conversation of the friends is interrupted by the appearance of Sean. The guy tells them that Danny Holland has just been eliminated from the match due to a serious injury. As the guy leaves, Gina admits that he wants a football-shaped cake for their wedding. After learning that the girl agreed, Laurel says it's definitely true love. Meanwhile, Danny awaits the doctor's examination by putting ice on his injured ankle. His assistant Elliot manages to tweet a post before he even knows the diagnosis. The doctor examines Danny and informs him that he will have to recover for about six weeks due to a sprain. The action shifts to Laurel, who is cleaning the apartment with her friend. Gina is about to leave and greets the girl who is about to rent a room from the heroine. Patty greets her and goes inside. The girl provides a lot of documents confirming that she will be a good roommate. In addition, Patty reveals that she works as a personal assistant. Although it is difficult, the girl is quite satisfied with her finances and life. Now Patty is in a big hurry because she is leaving with her employer for Paris in two hours. After learning about Laurel's difficult financial situation, the girl gives her the business card of her agency and suggests that she also try to get a job as a personal assistant. Denny returns from the field to his large mansion, listening to Ned's listing of advertising cases. The man is confident that the fans won't be bothered by his injury. When Elliot is out, Danny asks for him to be fired, as his presence alone is already becoming unbearable. The man still feels strongly that he will miss six games due to a sprain. Ned asks the assistant to call the agency to find a new assistant for Danny. As luck would have it, Laurel is interviewed there the same day and gets the job. The next day, the heroine arrives at Denny's, who says that the girl assistant is not suitable for him. Laurel assures him that she will do whatever it takes, as she really needs the job. The heroine manages to make a deal, and Danny allows her to help him, but only for the duration of his injury. The first thing the man does is go to an autograph signing. Danny sends the heroine to get water, and then discreetly pulls a bottle from under the table. After that, the man goes to the photo shoot, where he sits on a chair so that crutches do not get into the frame. The heroine brings lunch, but Danny reports that he has already had a bite to eat. At the photo shoot, Laurel brings the man a different uniform, but she is rescued by Patty. The girl says that the model who hugs Denny is her employer. When a model has a mishap with a dress and a fan, Laurel comes to the rescue and applies her design skills. The next day, Danny is awakened by a noise. The man sees an exercise bike being installed in his room and wants to start working out as soon as possible. However, his father asks him to take his time and rest for the first week. Danny worries that he will lose his old shape. When Laurel arrives, the man asks her to take a walk with his active dog. Afterward, the heroine is busy making a schedule. In the evening, Laurel complains to her new neighbor. The heroine feels that she is not a good fit for Danny as an assistant, because most of the time he talks about soccer, which she is not knowledgeable about. Patty gives Laurel a personal assistant log that has a lot of supporting data. The heroine thanks her and continues trying to figure out soccer. The next day, Danny goes to practice with Lucas, who looks at Laurel with interest. The heroine meets her boss's mother and sister, who act very friendly. Julia reveals that Denny is organizing a wedding anniversary party for her and her husband. After training, the heroine picks up the man in her car. Seeing it, Danny smiles, since he rode in the same one at school. The car was left to him by his grandfather. When Denny steps away for a while, Lucas starts flirting with the heroine and praises her remodeled uniform. From Danny, Laurel receives a difficult task to carry a heavy bag of dog food to the house. The heroine, having learned of a man's date with a model, suggests creating a romantic setting in the living room. Having arranged everything to her liking, Laurel is about to leave when the door suddenly opens. Danny brings his girl into the house, and the heroine has to hide to avoid an awkward moment. The model almost immediately dislikes the dog and asks to be taken away to another room. The girl offers Denny to play night games, but the animal starts whining. The model leaves, suggesting to meet some other time. With the dog's help, Danny discovers the heroine, 
but is not angry with her as he realizes that they did return earlier than planned. Laurel discusses the upcoming party with the man and tells him that her parents weren't very happy in their marriage. Danny sympathizes with her as his mom and dad are still crazy about each other. The man regretfully says that even his parents' example didn't help him build a harmonious relationship. The next day, Laurel talks on the phone with Danny's sister. The heroine is sure that it is not worth ignoring the calls of the family, who are only concerned about the health of the person they love very much. Denny becomes thoughtful and casually picks up Laurel's notebook in which she sketches her outfits. The heroine tells him that she has studied to be a designer, but has not yet realized herself. In the evening, Laurel helps her friend with her wedding outfit while Sean watches soccer. The heroine tells Gina that Lucas asked her out, but she doesn't know whether to accept or not, since he is her boss's best friend. Laurel also learns from the game, along with Sean, how to understand what is happening on the field. The next day, the heroine helps Danny set up in the living room to watch soccer. A man's phone falls, and trying to find it, the heroes touch each other's hands. In the afternoon, Denny undergoes an online interview. Laurel helps him escape questions about his personal life and get back to the book he's writing for children. Afterward, the heroine drives Danny to his business. When Laurel's car won't start, the man offers to fix it and gets dirty in the oil. The heroine wipes up the residue with a wet wipe, and Denny notices his book in the car. Laurel admits that she found it very sincere and interesting. After that, the heroine helps Julia with the organization of the party, as she knows about decorating. The woman is upset when she learns that Danny is dating a model again, with whom everything is unlikely to be serious. Meanwhile, the man is working out with Lucas on the exercise machine. When a friend leaves, Denny decides to continue exercising, resulting in a sore leg. The man calls Laurel and asks her to take him to a sports doctor. Luckily, Denny doesn't injure anything. The heroine promises that she will not tell anyone about it, as this is the second rule in the work of an assistant. Denny asks about the first one as well, which states not to fall in love with the boss. Back home, the man offers to sit on the veranda for a while and have a drink. Danny sincerely thanks the heroine for the fact that she treated his mistake with understanding and without judgment. The man penetratingly looks at Laurel, because of which the girl is embarrassed and decides to leave. In the evening, the heroine goes to a bachelorette party to Gina. By chance, Danny comes to the same bar with his team. Lucas almost immediately notices the heroine, and this time seeks her attention. Standing nearby, Danny unhappily observes this. In addition, the man manages to give Gina's friend advice about guys and behavior with them. After learning that the wedding will take place on Sunday, Danny allows the heroine to take the day off to have fun. The man learns that Laurel doesn't like athletes because they messed up her life a lot in middle school. Denny assures the heroine that it was because of their insecurities. The next day, the man has dinner with his sister. The girl says that she wants to give the speech herself, since Danny is always in the center of attention, as it is. Meanwhile, the heroine is vacationing at a wedding. Having received a text message from Danny asking her to come, Laurel is nervous, as she can't escape from the celebration. Gina smilingly allows her to leave the wedding for a while. Upon arriving at Denny's, the heroine learns that the man only wanted to complain about his sister's accusations. Laurel is angry that she had to run away from her friend's wedding because of such a small thing. Instead of answering all the accusations, Denny kisses the heroine. In the morning, the man tries to explain himself to Laurel, but they are interrupted by the doorbell. At the door, Danny sees his model, who has returned from Italy, but asks her to drop by another day. A week later, the man learns from the doctor that he is allowed back in the game. Danny is very happy and hugs the heroine. Ned decides to report this to all the media. During training, Danny is often distracted by seeing the heroine having a nice conversation with Lucas. The man thinks that they are together, and therefore, it becomes too hard for him to look at Laurel. Denny calls Ned and asks him to find him a new assistant. The next day, Denny announces that he is firing the girl. Laurel complains to Patty, saying that she was hoping for a mutual relationship with a man for nothing. The next day, the heroine relaxes with Gina at a bar, and then meets Julia. Laurel gives her the guest list and confesses that she would like to design sportswear, as many people liked her redesigned uniform. Julia wishes the heroine luck and asks her not to give up. During the party, Danny makes up with his sister and suddenly sees her kissing Lucas. The man is angry but then learns that his friend has never been with Laurel, but is dating his sister. Denny gives a touching speech and, on Julia's advice, goes to see the heroine. Laurel, meanwhile, is relaxing with Patty in a bar. The girl congratulates the heroine on a successful sportswear deal. 
With the help of Gina, Danny finds out where Laurel is. Entering the bar, the man approaches the heroine and confesses his love to her. The couple kisses and realizes that they have finally found true happiness. This is the end of the movie. Thank you all for watching this video to the end. Give this video a like. Write in the comments what you think about this movie and see you in new videos.